well, well, yet again, he's been voted in, third time running, like I, like I told you all he would, and now he's stuck with him for the next four years, and by the end of that four years, London will be turning to London Stan. In fact, I think London will be turning, it's already London Stan, but it'll be turning to Afghanistan by the time he finishes with it. So good luck. And for all those fools who didn't go out to vote, more fool you. So don't, dare, don't you dare mourn and whinge to me about knife crime and all that nonsense. And, you, you know, about crime in general or you layers. I don't know, you're it. Honestly, I'd be telling you to jog on. At the end of the day, you had a chance to get rid of him. And what did you do? Sit in your ass and do nothing. And watch the gerbil come to power and get re-elected yet again. Oh my God, what a joke. So, I mean, London is doomed. London's screwed. London's fu fucked beyond all recognition. And if you think London's bad now, watch him four years' time. Mark my words. Oh my gosh. Jeez, you don't know what's, what's coming your ways, guys. And this is no scaremongering or... But London is doomed. London was doomed anyway, let's be fair. So you can ask yourself, why is he, how's he won? Why is he won? Well, as... 40% of Londoners don't use tend to go out to vote, that plays its part. So if you had voted, that Susan Hall probably would have st stood a good chance of winning. And another thing, most, I suppose, mosques would have been aware of the inevitable, which was to annihilate um, every, every, everyone else, all the other names by postal votes I honestly believe it's rigged I honestly do and I honestly believe that we're going to see more and more of this as the years go on to the point where there'll be no white councillors or no predominantly good strong contenders from any kind of main parties that will ever even get a chance of winning so this is just basically a glimpse of what's to come for the UK so we got all this walkism shit we got all these lefties um, protecting the migrants from getting deported to Rwanda then you have Labour now winning now in the general election at the end of the year and that will open the flood floodgates to about 100,000 more migrants coming into the country it's going to be anarchy and that's what the country needs. It just needs one huge, massive, colossal civil unrest, civil war. Because, let's face it, how else is this country going to change? In four years' time, I probably will not be in this country anyway, so I won't give a flying monkeys. I'll, give, I'll always give a toss about Wales because... Wales is where I'm from, but I don't think Wales will see any major change in four years, as opposed to say 40 years. In 40 years time, it may have changed, but nothing like London's gonna change in the next four years. So yeah, what a waste of your votes. Cause I'm Welsh and I would have voted him out, no problems. And that's how much is a part, uh, he affects me and his ignorance and his sheer utter disrespect he has for Britishness. He would have been voted out two terms ago. What is wrong with the people in this country? Seriously, in the UK, get a grip, like. Well, you had your chance, you, you know, points me saying getting a grip. Sheesh. So there's me saying last night, oh, go on, believe the hype and 
all along it was all Twitter nonsense about Susan Hall winning or having a chance of winning when Khan probably knew all along that the postal votes would tip him over the edge and he probably didn't even need them anyway let's be fair so London elections especially the mayor elections I believe are honestly 100% rigged same as the American elections totally rigged and I, I just feel sorry for the children of London for the future that holds no hope for any Londoner what a sad state of affairs this country's in bet it's crazy man 2024 and still no change so we all, for all those ones who didn't vote enjoy your eulers enjoy your crime enjoy all the stuff that comes with the territory I suppose of not voting to have to make change and to have change happening in your city because trust me you're going to need a miracle to stop it from happening how else is it going to change guys how else, how, how else is everything that comes with the territory of having a, the wrong mayor how is that going to change the course of history and the course of time for the UK and for London anyway good luck Londoners because you're going to need it sad day for London and London but there again I'd say I'm just going to say this sad day for London and sad day for the UK just a sad day for Londoners, sad day for London, sad day for the UK, and sad how you all had the chance to put a stop to it, but you never did. And for all those who didn't vote, shame on you. Seriously, it boils my blood, and I'm annoying from London. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and I'll uh, see you when I see you. Peace out.